Chapter 5 hmm. hmm. All right. I got us some food. I finished setting up the fire. We've had you around making meals has gotten annoying. It's been my first decent meal in a while. Afterwards, we clean up your room too. Ah, sorry about that. Your story of a dragon is honestly very hard to believe. You were eaten and turned into a skeleton and after combat evolved into a ghoul through existential evolution. But with your appearance, I can only trust you. However, that dragon you spoke of, is it still in the labyrinth of the reflected moon? When I woke up, its presence had already faded. It is probably not there anymore. Still, there is no way we can leave it alone. If possible, I would like to report to the guild. But more than believing me about the dragon, I am afraid they will kill me. I see. Even searching for the dragon poses many troubles to you right now. Preparation, exploration, time, a place to secure all that without people knowing. I guess I know where you need my cooperation. Lento, what is my profession? Hey, scholar? That's right. My field of experience is in monsters and spells. And to top it off, I'm a silver rank adventurer. I can even exchange earnings from the labyrinth with the guild. Is there anyone better suited to shelter you than me? So, let's make a trade. Become my research subject, Lento. I'm going to share my house with you, a monster. You will share various things with me. Various? Yes. For instance, how is your skin and flesh structured? How much can you be cut up before it's a problem? How will you answer? I'd be an experimental subject? I'm kidding. It was a joke. Basically, I want information. The truth is not just mine, but research on monsters especially has progressed very far. Right now, we are limited to getting the help of one of the few peace timers. Even so, the monsters that they gain complete control over lose the ability to evolve. There's a limit to how much we can research. However, Lento, with you nearby, I feel like there is a lot to learn. Just do as you please and report to me after each venture, and that will be enough. That shouldn't be a problem, right? 
is that really all you want? You can do more for me if you wish, you know. Cleaning, laundry, cooking, it would help a lot. Uh, understood. I'll do what I can. Also, there are maybe some resources I would like. So, there was something. Hmm. 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 It has deteriorated a lot. I have been using it for many years and the stress on it has increased recently too. Maybe it's because of the ingress and my physical strength looks like my sword is starting not to suit me. Thinking ahead, this won't be enough. In order to evolve, I'm going to have to fight even stronger enemies. A weapon able to sustain me fighting at my full strength. I've got some sentiment for this sword I've been using, but that's all. I'm sure it got like this largely due to the ingress in both physical strength and energy. When fighting, my own magic and vitality flow not only through my body, but also through my weapon. It's not like I can fight without doing so, but it will be harder to inflict damage on monsters that way. In the end, I need a weapon able to withstand those energies. Additionally, me having spirit will be a problem. The weapons that religious personnel use, created only for those with spirit, a few. Magic, vitality, spirit. Basically, my sword is worn down from all these powers that have increased. Even though my spirit is able to remove this mask, I was able to confirm it does some damage to undead. It could be useful in existential evolution from here on. A new sword has to be able to withstand all of those strengths. A blacksmith in Malt's vicinity that can make the kind of weapon. The only blacksmith I know is three pronged harpoon. <sighs> Well, well, well. It's been a while. Huh? Welcome to the three pronged harpoon. Uh. Uh. Sorry for my suspicious appearance. Ah, no. You have the same feeling as an acquaintance of mine. That's all. I see. My name is Luca. May I ask what it is you have come for today? Please look at this sword. Ah, understood. Let's take a look. Looks like buying a new one is your only choice. I can see it's been carefully taken care of, but this is the limit of its abilities. Do you have anything in mind? I can use vitality, magic and even spirit. I would like something that can withstand them all. Oh, rare. You are the second full user 
we ever had here. In the case of irregularities or us, it will cost both time and money. Right now, this is all I have. If it's not enough, I will bring more after. Ah, this will be more than enough for the cost. However, Master, please sit with Clove, the store manager, and Smith. Clove is very drastic, so I'm sure he will call you many times while he's making it. No apologies. This may take some time. Uh, it's fine. I don't mind seeing things like this. In that case, I'll bring a chair. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry for making you wait. No. I don't mind. It was interesting. Oh, I thought. It was strange that Luca would bring someone all the way to the smith's lot. I yet you would be able to make me a sword. Order made? There should be plenty of swords laid out in the front. I see you are a full user. That would be rare. Still, don't you have one or two blacksmith, you know? Usually only religious personnel possess spirit. Through it through circumstances, I'm on a Trip. That's why I won't be able to meet with them for a while. I heard about you from him, so I came here. He said, Clove is trustworthy. Hmm. Really? I got it. Let's start discussing then. I'm in your care. Well, this is it. It will take time to make it, so I will give you a temporary sword in the meantime. It's not able to withstand spirit, so if you break it, it will be added to the cost. Also, I will have to do specific adjustments, so I will be able to contract you when the time comes. Yes, you can reach me here, please. Then we have a deal. I will leave it to you. Hmm. Thank you very much. Hmm. Luca, what's wrong? You have a strange expression. What's wrong? You know, don't you? That was... Well, yeah. I was wondering where he had went off to. Looks like he has gotten mixed up in something tricky. Are we really not that trustworthy? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Joking. I'm sure. He just didn't want to cause us trouble. That's why he pretended to be someone else and came here. That's the kind of person he's. Even so, it's pretty obvious. 
this address even. You are right. This place, this is Lorraine's house. At the very least, coming here and asking for a weapon shows how much he trusts us, right? Right, you are right. Signs becoming like this, I've started to think what exactly a monsters have the mind of a human and the body of a monster. So which one am I? The difference between monsters and human is it really only their appearance? Eh! Hey! Wanna answer was people's connections. When you're an adventure, these predicaments are common. I can't just simply overlook these adventures and travel. That hasn't changed even now. I see. It's temporary, but a good sword. Something that abounds others and lives only for themselves. Is that what humans call being a monster? That's why, as long as there are humans, I will remain human. Ah, uh, thank you. As long as as I treasure my connections. I believe that... That being said... Hmm... Hmm... What do I make of this? Hmm... Hmm... Oh. Hmm... Oh, thank you, sir. You saved me. I never thought that slime would move like that. Oi. Why are you following me? Mm. Because you are strong. Wait, I'm not trying to steal your leftovers. No, I'm after your leftovers, but I'm not even a manager. I'm a restaurant manager. I really need money. I need three gold coins, but X feet, fifteen in all. If I don't get it, the place will be taken from me. So I thought that even if I would be a little difficult, I could some gold make in the labyrinth. Please, I won't get in your way. Yes, not an adventurer. However. One of my goals in exploring this time is confirmation. Right now, what is happening to the unexplored area? And eventually, for the sake of future adventures, I need to make a report. I thought about asking Lorraine to do that, but... I... Yes? The angel always follows angels. With that, you are responsible for yourself. If you're okay with that, I don't mind if you choose to follow me. Will he, sir? I didn't think. I'm Loris Caliero. I'm Lento. Involving Loris, an unsimple exploration to turn into that big of an event. I had no way of knowing that at the time. To be continued. Thank you for listening to Chapter 5. I hope you liked it. See you next time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye.